When tech executive Bob Lee was stabbed on the streets of a swanky San Francisco neighborhood on April 4th, people assumed that rising city crime was to blame. The story, however, is shaping up to be something fit for a Silicon Valley soap opera. This is 43-year-old tech entrepreneur Bob Lee. He co-founded the Cash App, was the chief technology officer for Square, and a former colleague of Jack Dorsey and Elon Musk. This is Nima Momeni, a 38-year-old tech worker and acquaintance of Bob Lee, who stands accused of murdering him. And this is Kazar Liasnia, Nima's sister, the woman who prosecutors say holds the key to figuring out how a casual evening turned deadly for this father of two. According to court documents at around 2.30 a.m., down a shady back alley in Rincon Hill, Bob Lee was stabbed three times with a kitchen knife. Daily Mail exclusively obtained this shocking footage of a bloodied Bob Lee attempting to flag down passers-by for help before collapsing in front of an apartment building. He then makes a second attempt at survival when another car passes by, but despite this, Bob Lee died from his stab wounds. His death rocked Silicon Valley, and the public immediately placed the blame on rising crime rates in San Francisco. But according to law enforcement, this wasn't just some random act of violence. Prosecutors say Nima Momeni not only planned to kill Bob Lee that night, but took deliberate steps to ensure that it was successful. Quote, the defendant not only drove the victim to a secluded area in the opposite direction of his hotel, but brought a kitchen knife with him. Momeni had hung out with Lee the day he died, and prosecutors say the victim willingly got into Momeni's BMW for what he thought was just a ride back to his hotel. So how did these two go from having drinks together to Bob Lee bleeding to death on the sidewalk? Well, prosecutors say it comes down to her, Nima's sister, Kazar. It's believed that Kazar was the one who actually introduced Nima and Bob in the first place. Witnesses told police that the day before the murder, they saw Bob and Nima in an argument about Bob's relationship with Kazar. Now, a quick aside here, Bob Lee is divorced with two kids and Kazar is currently married to a local plastic surgeon. Bob Lee, who used to live in the area, recently moved to Miami and was just in town for a few days for a tech conference staying at a hotel. Court records allege that Bob and Kazar have been acquainted for several years now. She owns a multi-million dollar home in the same neighborhood where Lee used to live, as well as a luxury apartment not far from where he was killed. According to law enforcement, on April 3rd, Bob and Kazar had drinks together with a mutual friend during the daytime. Later that evening, witnesses told police that Lee hung out with friends, having drinks, bopping around luxury hotel bars. One of those friends was allegedly Nima Momeni. A witness told cops that at one point during all the revelry, Momeni and Lee got into a tense verbal confrontation about Kazar. The witness stated that Momeni was upset that Lee had picked up his sister from a house earlier that day and specifically wanted to know, quote, whether his sister was doing drugs or anything inappropriate. To be clear here, the witness wasn't sure if there was anything intimate going on between Kazar and Bob, but regardless, Nima was upset. Now, to underscore this, at his arraignment, prosecutors revealed a text message purportedly sent from Kazar to Bob Lee that read, quote, just wanted to make sure you're doing okay, because I know my Nima came down way hard on you. And thank you for being such a classy man, handling it with class. Love you. Selfish expletive. So a couple things here. Her apparent admission that her brother confronted Bob Lee and that the confrontation was intense. Bob seemingly not engaging with the confrontation and that love you at the end just sounds mighty familiar, if you're asking me. Now, it is unclear how things ended between Nima and Bob after that confrontation. A few hours later, sometime after midnight, Bob went to Kazar's apartment to hang out. Her brother was already there. Got a couple questions here. Did Bob get tricked into another confrontation with Momeni? Did he even know he was there? Or was he aware that Momeni was there and wanted to bury the hatchet from earlier that day? At any rate, 
things seem to be okay, at least from what we can tell from Bob's perspective. When he leaves Kazar's apartment, he leaves with her brother at 2 a.m. Surveillance cameras catch Momeni and Bob leaving in the elevator and getting into Momeni's car. The prosecution's theory here is that Bob believed he was being driven back to his hotel, but Momeni had other plans in mind. His car was seen turning down a dark alley and then stopping. CCTV footage is really grainy here, so cops couldn't identify their faces in the footage, but they see two men step out of the car. Investigators say the cameras then capture one of the figures making a sudden movement at the other. And then the next thing we know, Bob Lee is seen on our surveillance footage fatally wounded. He was stabbed twice in the chest and once in the hip. According to the medical examiner, it was a stab to the heart that ultimately killed him. A blood-soaked kitchen knife with a four-inch blade was later discovered near the crime scene by police. Police later searched Kazar's apartment, the last place that Bob was seen alive, and presumably checked to see if any knives were missing from the kitchen. Now, Nima's defense attorney, though, doesn't seem to think this is enough for police to have made an arrest and said in an interview that there is way more to the story than what we currently know. And for her part, Kazar appears to be standing by her brother as he faces down the barrel of 26 to life for the murder of Bob Lee. She and her doctor husband showed up in court for Nima's arraignment. They even flashed these heart hands in the courtroom at one another. If Momeni's defense team is to be believed, this story is just the tip of the iceberg with this case. So make sure you check out DailyMail.com for updates.